Hello, I'm Kenny Tang, recovery analyst from Staten Poor's Rating Services, covering the chemical sector. Today is March 8, 2012. Earlier this week, we announced that we have maintained our recovery ratings on Momentum Specialty Chemicals debt, which reflects the company's extension of the revolver to 2014, as well as the issuance of about $450 million in first lien uh, senior secured notes due 2020. The proceeds of these notes will be used to repay existing uh, term loan debt that's due 2013. Overall, the company's first lien debt remains at a three recovery rating, and the one and a half lien, second lien, and the unsecured notes remain at a five recovery rating. Now, in looking at our simulated default scenario, we contemplate that if we experience another deep global recession, uh, then demand for the company's products could experience uh, material weakened uh, demand, um, causing operating mar margins to deteriorate and uh, to a point where liquidity is tight and there are covenant compliance challenges. So now, assuming that the company reorganizes with a, an emergency bid of about $291 million and applying a six times multiple, we would come up with a gross recovery value of about $1.75 billion if we adjust out 7% in admin costs and then also about $61 million in environmental liabilities estimated, uh, we come up with a net recovery value of about $1.6 billion, of which 32% we consider as derived from uh, domestic operations, 63% from foreign operations, and about 5% from non-guarantor non entities. Um, in just thinking back about the collateral that uh, for the first lien debt, um, it's basically substantially all assets of the domestic subsidiaries as well as the 65% uh, stock pledge of foreign subsidiaries. Certain assets are in excluded from, from the collateral package. That includes the 35% that's not pledged as well as certain principal um, properties which are restricted uh, f by the indentures governing the uh, senior notes the unsecured senior notes. So there are certain exceptions there. Now, with the net recovery value, adjusting out about $620 million in other adjustments such as foreign debt and pension claims, and also the $410 million which aggregate all of the unencumbered assets, then we estimate about $940 million would be available first to the first lien lenders. Um, what that indicates is there's about $750 million in uh, deficiency claims for the first lien um, debt. That deficiency claim will share pari pursue with an estimated $2.2 .2 billion in uh, other unsecured claims, which includes the one and a half lien debt, uh, uh, one and a half lien notes, second lien and unsecured notes, as well as other certain um, unsecured claims. And that results in about a modest 10 to 30 percent recovery for the uh, one and a half lien, second lien, as well as the unsecured uh, note uh, debt. For the first lien debt, we're looking at an estimated recovery of about 50 percent to 70 percent recovery. So thank you. For more information, please see our recovery report on Momentum Specialty Chemicals, which is available on Standard & Poor's Global Credit Portal.